Hi everyone, it's Miss Olivia from The Little Gym and today I will be doing a video where we will be learning leaps on the balance beam. I set up an at-home floor beam on the gym floor and all I needed was a piece of tape and I lined that up, made sure it was straight. I used a thicker piece, you can use a thinner, it doesn't matter, use whatever you have. Just make sure it's in a straight line so that you can practice landing on the beam. So first step, of course, is that I hope you all stretched before this video. You can stretch in your middle splits, your front splits, toe touching, just stretch those hamstrings because it will be important for us to get into the full split. Also, something to know about the beam is that it's not super long. So you don't have that much room. You definitely do not have room to run into a leap and you're most likely just gonna take a few steps, even just one, which we will be doing in today's video. And I will show you what the just taking one step into the leap will look like and how to do so. First, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Perfect. Now I'll go over how to do it. Starting in a lunge with your dominant foot, that's the foot you always start with when you're doing a cartwheel, anything like that, your first foot in a lunge, like so. And you're gonna do like a thinner lunge, not like that, more like closer together. Then you are going to take your non-dominant foot, that's the foot you never really use to start off with, and take a um, step with that. Then using that dominant leg that we started with the lunge in, you're gonna push through using your leg muscles and using the front of your leg to amplify yourself off the ground into your leap. Attempt to reach a full split, however you can do, and then land in a scale. That's how we land our leaps on the beam, is in scales. Landing like this, okay? Let's try that one more time. Lunging, step, leap, scale. Sometimes, just like I did, you'll be a little unbalanced and that's why it's so important to keep practicing. Let's do one more together. Step, leap, and make sure that chin's up, that chest is up, your hands are out pretty, your shoulders are being pushed back, you're bending in your um scale and it will look very pretty i hope these tips helped you you can keep practicing these at home and learn that leap on the beam i hope you're all staying safe and healthy bye for now